Hi there, I'm Lena Anani, and you're listening to She Wrote a Book, where I interview amazing women from all over the world who also happen to be published authors. I created this show to educate, entertain, and inspire you to be the voice you want to hear in the world. Now let's get started. You are listening to episode number 100 of She Wrote a Book, and today I'm interviewing Kathleen Miller, author of the book Living the Spiral, 30-Day Body-Mind-Spirit Cleanse. Living the Spiral is a 30-day life-transforming chakra cleanse program based on the Celtic Triple Spiral Labyrinth. Kathleen Miller is a master intuitive practitioner and holistic medium energy coach, guiding clients around the world into conscious, intuitive lifestyle success. Again, her book is called Living the Spiral, 30-Day Body-Mind-Spirit Cleanse. You can find the link to purchase her book in our show notes for this episode at shewroteabook.com slash 100. So Kathleen, it's such a pleasure to to have you here as a guest today. Uh, My first question for you is this, what inspired you to write and publish this book? Well, thank you, Lena. It's wonderful to be here with you. Um, yes, I this book I wrote, I believe, almost seven years ago now, and it actually came from a vision that I had. I was uh, an interesting, really transition myself in life, and I was really questioning, you know, which route do I go in? I was working with clients. I was doing a lot of development with um, some of the creative work I was doing. I was writing. And I I asked the universe to get clear because I kept being pulled in so many directions creatively. And I, you know, had had this very powerful vision while meditating in the woods. I was living in South Florida at the time near the ocean. And I literally ran home and wrote it all down. And then when I started to look at it, I thought, oh, this should go here, this should go there. And and, you know, being a medium, I hear my guides and, and hear a lot of um, insights around me. And I was told, don't touch anything. It's exactly as it needs to be. And basically what I had drawn was a, a, a basic blueprint that I would then experience myself and go through and then ended up literally writing the book in a month. And um, and then shortly after, I began to lead groups through it and have now since writing it worked with hundreds of people around the world who have, you know, experienced this themselves. Um, it was so funny last week I was at the yoga store and I bumped into somebody who goes, Oh my gosh, I just started spiraling and I hadn't seen this person in years. And he said, you know, my, my girlfriend and I are spiraling and, and they did it probably five years ago. I did it with them. So I just, I'm, I'm so inspired that, you know, it, it really has had a, um, a a powerful impact on a lot of people, and, 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 and people keep doing it, too. It's not a one-time thing. It's something that I actually still do myself a few times a year. That's interesting. Um, it's interesting that you call it spiraling because, you know, in – I feel like sometimes when people talk about spiraling out of control is that, I mean, is, is your, obviously your spiraling is spiraling back into control. <laughs> right. Well, that's that's or, a great, that's a great illustration because you can spiral in the negative or the positive. You can spiral down and totally lose control and really get lost or get destructive, but you can also spiral up where you get momentum in a positive way and actually really, bring everything together very quickly, which is what this is about. There is a lot of, um, even in the the triple spiral, which is a very ancient, one of the most ancient Celtic symbols, it is about that body, mind, and spirit being equally calibrated in a way that balances your, your mind. And, and what I was guided to when I wrote it and went through it myself was that this is really a shortcut to really reel these energies in so that people can get more conscious control in their lives. Now, is it is it a general sense getting that, that using the spiral to in a general sense, or can you use the spiral for like more specific uh, reasons like uh, finances or Absolutely. relationships? Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and and that's where the the book is actually written in a one to thirty day um, program where there's it it breaks down into even three 10-day segments of three days in the body, three days in the mind, and three days in the spirit. So you have three days, you have 10 days that are very body-focused, that's your home, it's your finances, it's your career, it's your life purpose, and then there's 10 days that are, 
your, you know, monkey mind and your relationships and like how your inner personal is all working. And then there's 10 of spirit and being connected, being more intuitive, being more like aware of your soul purpose and, and having all of these all work simultaneously together is part of that spiraling up. Kelly, you I'm totally feeling your passion on the under, other end of this line. Like I and I'm sure the listeners are too. I where does it come from? <laughs> ah, well, I just, you know, I feel like I live what I do cuz I I I when I even when I wrote it, I was going through it myself and it was there's some of the days where it's embarrassing. I thought, well, I just won't put today's like journal excerpts in the book and my guys are like no 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 that's the one that's really going in because everybody's going to relate to it and totally get it that you know we all are you know have our challenges we all have our weak points but that's it's part of being able to embrace all of it and just keep you know looking up going up and have it not get you off track where you do get destructive or let go or quit and and that's where I have loved it personally in my life because it's helped me to go so much further than I realized possible. But that's, you know, I keep getting feedback from people all over who say, wow, you know, it just really changed the game for me um, in either relationships or them having courage to get, you know, go after their career of what they really wanted or go, you know, all kinds of different, very specific personal things that it shifted for them. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love that you emphasize specific things, you know, not just in a general sense, but very specific things. That's, that's, I think, very helpful. Um, so your book is based on the Celtic symbol, mm -hmm. the, the, the triple spiral. Where does the Celtic come from? Why, why Celtic? Well, I am Irish. Uh, my original uh, heritage, I'm, I'm actually Irish-Swedish, but the Irish I really resonate very strongly with. And, and when I saw this symbol in the vision and I began to, you know, draw it and then uh, in colors and all of these different, you know, pieces came out that made sense once the book was written, but it, initially it was just sort of this wild spiral going all over the place. And Yet, if you look at when I started to research it and look at what the symbol meant, I was taken back to there is actually a Neolithic stone near Kildare in the center of Ireland that is considered actually to be almost pre-Celtic. They even say it could be from Lemuria that was brought over and one of the last things that was brought from where the floods really lost all of their um, – all of their things because the carvings on it are, are really, you know, no one at that time would have been able to really do the carvings. And yet it's alive and well today at a major um, mark in Kildare and you can see the, the and, and there's these perfectly round uh, triple spiral symbols all over this stone. It's really, really beautiful. And so I just really feel like and it is a symbol of power it is a symbol of the goddess it is a symbol of body mind spirit it, and it translates to you know birth life death you know all of these really profound life um just sequences that we all go through and and even the body mind spirit being a bit of a trend but it's also ancient you know, having that in balance, and and it's we're we're kind of reemerging re into finding those multiversal layers, if you will, all over again, and and that's something that's always been there. We've just we're we're kind of finally realizing how important each of those are. Beautiful, I love it. You so so it is, it's a really significant symbol for for you, and it's 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 a symbol that helps you communicate, I guess, right? And, and structure how how you want to communicate your healing modality, right? Is that it is it is a structure, but it also is symbolic of the vortex as well. Like if you ever look mm. at um some of the mathematics in some of the power symbols and and part of the triple spiral, it actually has a energetic momentum to it. And so one of the things that I've done when I teach it is I, I actually created a, you know, 25, I think, by 25-foot real life-size labyrinth. 
and then uh, the group would actually walk it within the each week when we're teaching it because it activates internally cellular shifts that are happening but then also it shifts the mind it it opens up and helps people to just like really really bridge that connection of internal to external and i know that gets a little bit out there and yet that's what people are really seeking i mean part of seeking change is being able to to really have that strong awareness internally and then get that to show up on the outside whether it is a job or money or a relationship and this is part of how to, you know, really get that to connect in, in, a, in a strong enough way where you're going to see the change. Beautiful. Well said. Well said. Um, I do want to switch gears and ask you real quick about this. I noticed that you, in your book, you talk about chakras 1 through 10. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, most most books talk about the seven seven major chakras. Uh-huh. You talk about 10. So I'd like to know a little bit more about what those 10 are and, and why sure. you chose to include them. Yes. And there, you know, there's the seven basic are what are acknowledged. And, and then there are other theories out there that have 30 plus chakras in them that go, you know, earth chakras and, and surrounding environmental chakras. So, so that's all, there's, there's many different viewpoints. The 10 that resonated very strongly for me is acknowledging those seven but when i look at the heart intuitively and this is how i see other i actually see two chakras it's really one it's just a heart chakra but i see an internal and external and what i notice is that when i'm when i'm reading someone i can see if they have their inner heart chakra on a lot of people don't some people do some people have it incredibly lit up and and so this is something that encourages opening the inner heart, which I, I note it as two different chakras, even though it's just helping people to be aware of um, the internal heart and the external, which deals with relationships, and then the internal is more of the the you know inner connected to source light. And then I also have added, um, you know, beneath the feet that there's a ground chakra. That's that that's where the traditional seven stops is is really at the base of the spine. And so I, I included one that is the ground chakra beneath the feet. And then also once you're over the head in the crown, you know, going up to uh, the sun chakra and being able to, you know, connect up above, which again is where we connect from our physical body to multiversal sources and, and, and what's happening around us. I love it. I love it. Um, such a cool topic, such a cool book. Kathleen, um, what do you love most about being an author? You know, I, I really love that something that I worked on years ago is still having a powerful effect today. I think that, um, you know, knowing that it's something that people can pick up and and use again. I love being able to use it again, or if I'm ever feeling like, hey, I just want to tweak or refine my energy, I'll just whip it out and and just dive right in. And so I, I like that it's something, you know, it's a tool, basically. And and to know that I can help people to connect to that and to improve their lives is is pretty cool to be a part of. It's very cool. I love it. Uh, Kathleen, thank you so much for being our special guest today. We will have a link to your book in the show notes for this episode, and our listeners can find that at shewroteabook.com slash 100 to learn more about our author and her spiraling book. So, Kathleen, thanks again. It's been a pleasure. Wonderful, Lena. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to She Wrote a Book. If you enjoyed this episode, then subscribe now so you can automatically get access to all new episodes and feel free to share your inspired thoughts with us in the comments too. I'd love to hear from you. Until then, may you always feel good and make magic.